guide is Christian Geiger. Took Melissa a couple of days to get going here in Pyeongchang. There was a big expectation in Australia that this lady could really bring home a big one. Well, she's got bronze in the super combined. Those two fifth place finishes in the downhill and the super G. We're on to slalom. It's hard to look past these two. Lucky and Peering have dominated not just here in Pyeongchang, but on the world scene for a fair few years now. But as previous days have proved, accidents can happen to even the very best. First task this morning here in the first run is to make it to the bottom and give yourself a chance in the second run. Away we go, the women's giant slalom visually impaired event the first of 12 to tackle the course and Melissa Paris is indeed that first athlete you hear the guide counting the gates interesting differences between these guides the headset Bluetooth microphone all inside the helmet of the skiers, enabling the guide to take through their athlete safely, speedily. They're securing a medal. Three on the lookout for a second. Some events. Just combining more technical elements. It's uh, much windier, steadier courses. The speed levels dropping from the downhill events and the Super G. And this is the tuck towards the finish there. Now, first athlete on course sets 114.78. Can't win a medal in the first run. And can go out of the competition. Perrine did the unthinkable yesterday, started in sixth for the second run of the Super Combine and managed to come away from the Yongxian Alpine Centre with a medal. It was a fabulous second performance. Can she do it again with the help of Christian Geiger, the guy? The green and gold of Australia would love gold. Sure, the 29 year old will take a medal of any color. This is her third game. It was the first time she got a Paralympic medal on day four, and she's given herself another on day five. Two